Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We've looked at all sorts of these mini PNSO figures so far, and once again, when I say that there is just a wide variety, it continues to show through with these figures, because these are babies. They do include babies of certain dinosaurs, not too many, but there are quite a few, and you can see here that we do have Nada the Spinosaurus, Romario the Amargosaurus, and Darcy the Ankylosaurus, so if you are interested in owning babies of these dinosaurs, this is the video for you. As always, taking a look at the inside here of the package, you can see that there is a nice uh, backdrop there of the actual habitat for the Spinosaurus. Again, same goes for the Amargosaurus. You can see that it's very, very cool. It's a little hard to really get a good shot of when it's in the package because of the glare. There you go, you can see a nice wooded habitat for the Ankylosaurus. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and break these guys out of their package. So after a brief battle with the packaging of these figures, we now have them out and you can see very nicely the background and backdrop for the areas that these dinosaurs lived. It looks very, very cool. And as always, we get to open them up and take a look at the incredible artwork inside. And there is an incredible, incredible picture of an absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful Amarcosaurus that is really, really beautifully done. Maybe that's the parents, actually, of our little baby we have here. And with the Spinosaurus, we again get a nice, nice picture. And that's incredible looking as well. Very beautiful artwork of the Spinosaurus inside. And then with the Ankylosaurus. And there we go. Very, very cool. That Ankylosaurus just whacked some sort of a Tyrannosaur with its tail. And that, my friends, is what you get on the inside of these incredible booklets from these PNSO minifigures. But we are here to look at the actual minifigures themselves, so let's do that now. So we'll start with the Amargosaurus, and these figures are honestly the tiniest of the tiny. These are really, really tiny minifigures, even smaller than the other ones for the most part. But they still look incredible. You can actually even see the tongue sticking out of this baby Amargosaurus, just really making his cuteness level go from 1 to 10 in seconds. Boy, does he just look adorable. You can see the eye is very, very nicely painted, and the entire head sculpt is really beautifully done. Very nice sculpt and detail, and as always with these PNSO minifigures, the paint applied to them just looks incredible. Just right there in the head, you can see it starts out as a dark brown, and the snout area leads to like a lighter brown on the underside here of the face, and then you get the black eye and then it starts to turn into a green and then we start to run down the neck here you can see that very very trademark Amargosaurus neck lots of very nice skin creases and stuff in the neck as we run down the length of the neck and again a nice white underside to the neck so many different variations of color are included in these minifigures it's always super impressive to me you can see the entire upper part the back is really nicely sculpted and the skin detail is really beautifully done. You can see a lot more creases in the skin on this side as the little Amargosaurus has his head turned to the right. Bunching the skin up here in the neck a little bit. Even the way that that is sculpted right there. Look how beautiful that curve looks. So natural looking, so very nicely done. Some very nice skin folds here in the shoulder area. You can really see the shoulder is very nicely defined. Coming down into the leg. Leg also very nicely sculpted and painted. And we come back up here into the stomach, you can see a very nice pale belly. So again, some more variation of color. You can see a few different greens, some browns, some lighter browns down here, the white belly. Such an incredible job as far as the different tones of color included on these minifigures. And you can see some very nice skin folds and creases in the skin here. And the uh, right in front of the rear right leg, you can see the hip bone somewhat elaborated there. Pretty nice musculature, but not too much as the dinosaur is pretty young. And again, those feet are sculpted very nicely. Beautiful sculpting of the skin detail. Some very nice skin creases again here in the tail on the back. And then we run out to this cute little somewhat windy tail. And then we look at the opposing side. Very, very nicely done on this side as well. And the paint is very consistent with each side. Looking, uh just the same as it does on the other side, but still having many different tones of skin color. Beautifully done. Very nice skin creases here in this uh, front left leg. 
pushing up into the skin of the stomach, you can really get an idea of the movement of the dinosaur. And again, some very nice skin folds here in the stomach region. Beautiful sculpting of this rear leg in the foot as well. Very nicely done. And then some more skin folds and creases in the skin here in the tail as we again run out that very small but windy tail of this incredibly adorable Amargosaurus. Now we'll take a look at this insanely cute Spinosaurus. I think uh, this is the first time I've ever seen a baby Spinosaurus. We have a juvenile Spinosaurus from Papo, but I've never seen a baby, so this one's very cool to me. So starting up here at the head sculpt, look how incredibly nicely done that is. Even has the little Spino crest up there in the head. You can get an idea of all the teeth really nicely included there. Even the hook jaw is present. The eye is very nicely painted, no sloppiness whatsoever. Beautifully glossed. The Spinosaurus is just beyond adorable. Again, so many different paint variations and color variations in the uh, skin color of the head. It just really very subtly changes into other variations of the paint. We got browns and again greens and sort of a grayish type of a look crown up on the top of the head. Again, the eye on this side is just beyond perfectly painted. Nicely glossed as well. And we start to see some uh, some little osteoderms here and there. And you can see some very nice sculpting of the skin. The detail looks very beautiful. We come down into the shoulder blade. You can make the shoulder blade out as it is sticking out a little bit there, protruding from the skin. Coming down into those beautiful little spino hands. Very nicely sculpted. Even the uh, chest muscles are present here in the front. Very nice sculpting of the skin detail in the stomach region. And that sail looks beautiful. I love that it's a very dull type of a coloration because the little baby Spinosaurus would need to hide. It doesn't want to stick out. And the entire body in general is a fairly dull color. But you can see that there is a slight paint variation and a somewhat flashier paint variation that is going to be coming in on this Spinosaurus eventually. So uh, that looks really, really cool just like the early stages of a baby dinosaur would look, in my opinion. And then you get a look here at the back leg. Very nicely done. The feet look excellent. And then we come out into this tail. It just looks perfect as well. And then if we look at the opposing side here, again, beautiful sculpt work in the neck. Very, very nicely sculpted Spinosaurus hand again. And then again, the skin detail. It runs up here into the stomach region. Looks very nice. You can once again see all sorts of different tones and variation of color throughout the body. You can kind of see the uh, skin being bunched up here a little bit as the leg here, this rear leg is sticking up into the stomach. The Spinosaurus is just basically sitting. I can get an idea of maybe an adult Spinosaurus just bringing some food up and now he just took a seat to try to await that food to drop. You see that beautiful yellow coloration again on the sail and the sail is sculpted really nicely. Really incredible work as far as the sculpting goes. And then we run out that beautiful Spinosaurus tail. Underside everything, all sorts of variation of color. Just looks incredible everywhere you look at it. And then we get to this absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful mini Ankylosaurus baby figure. It just looks awesome. You really see that incredible sculpt work on the face. Nostrils sculpted out. And the entire detail around the eye just looks incredible. The eye is painted absolutely perfectly, not even a remote amount of sloppiness. Again, has a very nice gloss. Look at that, that looks beautiful. These minifigures, as far as these babies go, are just as incredible and uh, just as highly detailed as the adult minifigures are, yet they're even smaller. And I love the wash that they have included, a very light wash on the Ankylosaurus to bring out all the detail as far as the armored area goes, especially right here on the head. That looks just awesome. And the same goes for the entire armored back. That very nice wash has been included to really make all that detail pop and really look very, very realistic in my opinion. And the entire sculpting of the upper part, the uh, armored area of the Sankylosaurus is really quite present and really beautifully done. That wash really brings out the incredible sculpt work that they've put into it. You can see the feet look very nice. The legs overall are sculpted very beautifully. Same goes for the rear legs. And then we come out into the very nicely sculpted little Ankylosaurus tail. He's got his tiny little club tail going there. And once again, you can see all the sorts of uh, different tones and paint variation throughout the figure. PNSO does an incredible job on everything they do. They really honestly do. They don't 
take the lazy way out of anything. Honestly, it's just always just jaw-droppingly beautiful with PNSO. I really love the uh, sculpting of the skin detail here on the rear leg. That looks just awesome. And then we run out again onto that tail. So this Ankylosaurus is probably, honestly, my favorite of these three minifigures, and that's actually a really tough thing to say because they are all just beautiful. So if you have been on the lookout for some absolutely incredible baby dinosaur figures, these minis from PNSO are a surefire way to go. These little guys are awesome. As far as a size goes, and as I said, these little uh, babies are even smaller than the regular sized minis. This Ankylosaurus from the tail to the head is only about two and three quarter inches or about seven centimeters. And for a height, he's actually about an inch tall or about two and a half centimeters. For the Spinosaurus from the tail to the head, you're looking at about two and three quarter inches in length or about seven centimeters and for a height you're looking at about almost just shy of one and three quarter inches or about four a little bit over four centimeters almost actually to the snout you're looking at about four centimeters and with the amargosaurus from the tail to the head about two and a half a little over two and a half inches or about six and a half centimeters and for a height, again very small, just a little over an inch or about three centimeters. For a size comparison, you can really see how small they are next to the Papo Rex, and this should give you a pretty good idea as to why these babies can hide so well when the big bad bully Mr. Papo Rex comes around because they are just super tiny and there's no chance that our friend the bully Rex is going to be able to even see them at all if they hide in just some brush or something, but Again, really showing you just how incredible these minifigures are. Considering up close, you could just see that they had all the beautiful sculpt and detail a large figure would have crammed into something so small and such incredible paint. And uh, you can really see just how tiny they actually are next to the Papo Rex. So, once again, incredible, incredible minifigures from PNSO. That is six for six as far as my reviews go for these minifigures. I have yet to encounter a minifigure that I would deem any less than excellent because they are all just that darn nice. PNSO is seriously, when I say it, I am being completely honest, probably the leader when it comes to incredible, beautifully, scientifically accurate dinosaur figures. And on top of that, really, they go the extra mile when it comes to the paint. And that's something that I feel like a lot of other companies don't do. But PNSO always does an incredible job as far as painting their figures, making them just look really realistic, really real, and uh, basically looking like live versions of what they are. They just do such a great job, and the detail that they can cram into something so small is just honestly mind-blowing to me. The paint that they apply to something so small, also mind-blowing to me. These figures just look awesome. They really do, and in my opinion, they are better than any other baby figures that I've ever seen out there anywhere and they are just so small I am head over heels in love with every single minifigure that I have pulled out of this box so far from PNSO and I'm going to continue to review these figures and I'm sure that in the future I will be just as impressed with every other minifigure I get out of this box so if you would like to purchase these awesome baby minifigures I will throw links in the description to each and every one of them along with a link to the entire box where you can purchase every minifigure that you have seen so far in any of my reviews. So if you would like to go ahead and buy these guys, go ahead down to the description, check those links, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.